My penis was oscillating. Prince Harry. Fuck you, Prince Harry. He's ruined this country. I think the paedophile, Prince Andrew, might have done that, mate. Nah. Definitely Harry. Good morning. Today's Tuesday, 17th. It's 10 past nine. I need to get going. We're going to Muscle Hut Medway for round two. I'm training with a client today. Got a couple of clients there, 15. So what am I shooting for? About seven or eight grams. I'm really impressed with Jay Cutler's supplements. I thought, oh, is it gonna be a bit gimmicky? No, really good. This is quite strong, this one. So if you're in the market for a slightly stronger pre, then go for the Prevail. Prevail Rush. I haven't got a stirrer. Got chest, delt, and I think some arms today, which is one of Dan's sessions that I've programmed for him. So it'll be a good chance to go through a few of the movements with him and then also assess his intensity. It was always good. Try and get as much training feedback from your clients as possible. And if you've got the ability or option to go and actually train with them, then do so. You drive more down. So you said kind of like, Lord, I see more like that. Yeah, so what we want to do is essentially, what I'll do is I'll put a, an image on the screen, like an anterior view of the chest, so we can see costal sternum and follicular flybers now that flybers. I always say flybers. Remember that film Flubber? Remember Flubber? <laughs> Mad film. So what we're gonna essentially do is the direction, the path of where the cable is, we wanna match the fibers of that clavicular. So okay. we wanna keep our arm, arms slightly more okay. adducted as opposed to abducted. So yeah. we wanna keep arms a little closer here and then drive through almost as if we're trying to get our elbows into our chin. There we go, perfect. Always spend a little time in that shortened range too. Little one, two, good, open up. Let's work, let's work, work through these. Two more then, two more. Up, 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 up. Beautiful. One more. Two second hold, two second hold. There we go, there it is. Beautiful. Nice. With me, with me. Two. <coughs> two at least. Big drive. Now we work on this last one. Push, 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 push. With me, with me, into the pad. Beautiful. <coughs> Good shit. Key for this one, stay seated, Dan, stay seated. Just a small cue for this is be mindful of your sternum angle. A lot of people will, when the weight starts getting heavier, they will lift out of the pad, so glutes will come off. And you, all, you're, all you're essentially doing is turning this incline press into a flat. Just always be mindful of your sternum angle. Switch these abs on, keep the glutes and lower back glue to that pad. We want emphasis on that clavicular. Very similar to that, upper chest movement. Fucking hell. Drive these traps more into the bench, almost glute bridge into the bench. Keep these lats switched on as well when we're pressing. Good. One with me. One more. Let's go. Up. Yeah. Oh. Allow these shoulders to elevate. We don't want to keep these shoulders depressed. Beautiful. There we go. Much better. All intent on that medial. There we go, beautiful. Up, one. Yep, up. Love that. Go. Retract these shoulders a little bit more. So drop this. Keep these depressed and retracted a little. Yeah. And then hinge. There we go. Take a little further step back. Come further back, yeah. Good. There we go, much better. Perfect. Good. Allow that path to travel where the elbow wants to go. Yeah, perfect, spot on. Good. There we go, there we go. Perfect. Good. Good control, not too snatchy. More control in that shortened range. There we go, that's much better. Now we're working. One more with me, with me. Nice and short, nice and short, nice and short, nice and short. Beautiful, much better. Shift that weight over. Shift this weight over. Align shoulder, elbow and wrist together. Perfect. 
Keep your shoulder fixed as well, we don't want any. There we go, perfect. Just focus on that lower portion of the arm. Beautiful. Beautiful. There it is, beautiful. Strong. Strong. We wouldn't usually do this in our training, but just to give a more complete breakdown of targeting the biceps, we can go for some behind the body curls. Now, jump in. Dan made a good point, and he often found toward the end of the set, he's going into that shoulder flexion. Now, we're only really targeting the biceps in this length and range here, so we don't even need to do any of this movement here, because once you start bringing it up here, this just becomes nullified. So here to here, perfect. Even there to here, there you go. Even there. Boom, there you Perfect, that's all we need to work in. Bam, perfect. There we go. Good session with Dan. Always nice to train with a client one-to-one -one because it allows you to understand how they interpret true failure. And there's a couple of occasions where they stop and you think, no, there's a couple of reps left and you take them through and that then raises their bar. You know, I've certainly been humbled in the past. My two occasions were James Hollinshead at King's and then Callum Raystrick at Crayford. Both those occasions raised that bar in terms of my respect to training intensity and true training to failure which then in turn meant that I could make larger changes and adaptations to my physique. So it's always a bonus. If you don't have the chance to, to meet them on a one-to-one -one basis, then just be anal when it comes down to as much collection of video footage as possible because you can always intervene and say, look, it looks like there's a couple of reps there, you know. I've got Dan's footage here in front of me. We have been working together for just over 24 weeks now. Picked things up tail end of June where he was in the mid-76s, 76.5. And as of this week, consistently hitting the 83.8. We agreed to go quite conservative with this and shoot for a 0.3 key gain per week. And if you did the calculations, his 7.2, 7.3 key gain over the last 24 weeks has been absolutely on the money in terms of ticking that 0.3 key gain per week box. It just shows the meticulous nature of nutrition, training, you know, cardio, steps, sleep recovery. Once you tick those boxes and compound those tick boxes over a daily, weekly, and monthly period, you've got yourself a really nice transformation. And as you can see with the image on the screen, the scale weight gain has been of good quality tissue. I think more often than not, when you go into a gaining phase, you can get lured into the excitement of like, oh my God, I've gained 0.5 kilos this week. If I do that for 10 more weeks, that's five kilos. And that just leaves you accruing a little bit too much fat mass and becoming slightly less responsive to food and energy levels all over the place. But I think there is a time and a place to go aggressive. I've certainly been there, you know, before the Fit X, me and Callum agreed that we've got to shuttle a fair amount of food in and, and pack on some tissue. It was a hard slog getting it off, but as you can see from my Fit X and PCA physique, big, big change. But for people that aren't looking to achieve that level of kind of competitive bodybuilding, then I think conservative or going relatively conservative is the way forward. I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you enjoy this video. We'll do a few more of these over the next upcoming months over summer. But uh, yeah, appreciate the uh, response of the, of the videos that just gone out and uh, appreciate your continued support when we do. Any further questions on today's session, programming for this push and arms, then drop me a message. I shall see you very soon. Thank you, good night. I'm much love.